Welcome back, guys. This is the Transform 24 Thighs and Pelvic Floor video. If you haven't already, make sure you go back and check out the introduction video and that you've done the warm up and arms video prior to this one. Just a gentle reminder that you want to make sure that you've got that pelvis tucked under, no sway backs here. This is very important in order for us to engage the pelvic floor properly. Now, I want to make sure that you have got something to hold on to. Hopefully you've got the balance bar, but if you don't, use a sturdy piece of furniture. You can either lift your heels, which is going to cause you to work harder, or you can use flat heels on the mat if that's easier for you. Just get a gentle bounce going here. Again, we want to review proper alignment, making sure that we're tucked under, making sure that we our pelvis is faced toward the ceiling, that we don't have any swaybacks whatsoever. You're just going to get a gentle bounce going. You've got the playground ball as a method of increasing that muscle resistance. So the playground ball is between your inner thighs and I am squeezing inward every other bounce. And we're gonna do 50 of these. So technically I'm doing about 100 bounces, but I'm squeezing in 50 times with this exercise. Make sure your alignment's perfect and feel free to flatten those feet if you need to for less resistance. Now for the hip rock, we're going to keep our playground ball in between our thighs, making sure that your hips are in proper alignment. Again, always check proper alignment. And we are just going to rock side to side with our heels lifted. If you want a more difficult move, you can use flat feet if you find it too difficult, but we're just gonna do 10 of these. Okay, so for the figure eight, I want you to think of these as two half circles. We're gonna first go to the left, as far forward as we can, neutral position, as far to the right as we can, as far forward, neutral position, and then to the left. This is a difficult move, especially with the heels lifted. And while it looks like I'm not doing a whole lot, I guarantee you this is a tough move. The playground ball is placed between the thighs for stabilization, but also for more resistance. And you will find that this will really stretch out the lower back and this will really strengthen that pelvic floor. This is an incredible exercise that will work the entire lower body. Now we're gonna do 10 of these, so stick with me. Nice. Some of you are gonna love me or hate me for this next move. We are going to do what I would call a ballerina style squat. We are gonna get up on our toes, our heels lifted, keep that pelvis tucked under, and we are gonna dip down to a 90 degree angle. Do not go past a 90 degree angle, and you are going to make sure the trajectory of the force is toward the ceiling. So bring your pelvis up and point it toward the ceiling. This is an awkward movement, but trust me, it will burn. This is going to transform your thighs like you never thought possible. <laughs> and you are going to feel it. If it's too much for you, again, feel free to flatten your feet, but coming up on those toes is gonna really work. And if you have to, like I do here, rest just for a couple seconds before finishing the exercise. We're gonna do a total of 20 of these.
Now for this next exercise, open and close, it will be important that you have some sturdy furniture here. I definitely need the balance bar or performance bar. Place your hands facing behind you. And this is gonna help you to really increase your stabilization here. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that your back is straight. Remember, alignment always. Keeping your legs straight will increase the intensity. Also, the angle of your legs will increase or decrease intensity. So feel free to play around with either a higher or lower angle based on your comfort level, but make sure that you are still working. If you feel like it's too easy, change up your angle or straighten your legs. Here I have pointed toes. It doesn't matter too much, but with the pointed toes, we're really going to engage those thighs. We're gonna do 50 of these. And if you really want to challenge your abdominal muscles, because we are working our entire body here, you can let go of your balance bar if you feel like you have that kind of strength. But for the most part, we just want to hold on to the balance bar and let those abdominals and our legs do all of the fun work. This is a fabulous inner thigh exercise to get beautiful legs. Now the next exercise is going to be an inner thigh squeeze with straight legs. And what we wanna do here is make sure that we are first grounded on our mat, that we have good support, that our back is straight, and we are pushing inward with our ankles against that balance bar. Now you can use a piece of furniture that is sturdy and do this, but we're gonna be squeezing the inner thighs toward each other. The other thing I'm doing here is applying a gentle bounce with my upper body so that I can intensify the squeeze. Now, if you need to intensify the exercise even more, you can do what I'm doing here and just raise your legs. We're keeping toes pointed. My feet are slightly turned outward and that is going to help to intensify the squeeze as well. Wow, guys, <laughs> tell me that was not an intense thigh workout. Slowly roll up, be very gentle on your back. We're just gonna cool off here for a much needed reprieve from that intense workout. Go ahead and stretch that thigh muscle. Just apply a gentle, gentle bounce no lifting of the heels here. We're just letting the cellar sizer do the work and gently shake out those thighs that are probably burning right now. Keep that pelvis tip tilted under and just gently bounce as you stretch out your thighs. For this next one, this one's kind of fun. I like to grab the sides of the cellar sizer and I'm just going to apply a gentle bend to the knees to create a gentle bounce that is going to help to stretch out the hamstrings. Now slowly roll up, keep that pelvis tilted under to protect your lower back. Raise your arms up and down, take a deep breath in and blow out. You have just finished probably one of the more intense workouts. <laughs> Congratulations guys. I'll see you in the next Transform 24 video.